Hi guys, welcome back to Paint with Josh. Today we did a gorgeous 12 by 24 inch canvas. Turned out fantastic. You're obviously excited about painting this one. That's why you clicked on this link. So check the description down below. Make sure you get all the colors you need. Make sure you get your canvas nice and wet. Get ready to throw some paint on it. Let's do it just like this. Hi guys, welcome back to Paint with Josh. We're here in the studio with a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. And this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. We're gonna take this and cover our canvas in our Bob Ross liquid clear. You don't need a whole lot. Doesn't take a long time to have a very thin coat. So I like dropping it in different areas, and that way you don't have to work it all the way back and forth across your entire canvas from one thick area to the next, all the way down here, right? You just gotta have a little bit and put it out on there like that. Just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Getting it all over. And then once it's all covered, then we're gonna wipe it off with a paper towel. Don't let me forget. If I forget, you don't forget, right? Wipe it off with a paper towel. Because sometimes I forget and I have to work at it and make it, makes it a little bit harder if you don't wipe it with a paper towel. Sometimes it can get a little too sticky if you got too much on there, right? So let's take this guy. We're gonna finish the sides just so it's got the same amount of glare and, uh, and differences in there. It looks like I picked up some yellow here somehow. There we go, wipe that sucker out of there. Now I'm gonna finish this side and then we'll add our undercolors on there. It'd be very cool. <clears throat> okay, we're going to clean off our brush, right into the can, into the trash can, then into the beater bucket, then we dab it off on a paper towel. Always, always dab it off on a paper towel. That helps us out so much dab it off otherwise you can get too wet and get back up there on the canvas and it's no fun for anyone now i like using the viva brand paper towels just because they don't leave as many little linty bits everywhere as as some of the other paper towels like Vrani, i found was super linty all depends how much it grips on your canvas you know what i mean there we go all we're doing is wiping that clear away a little bit of pressure look at how much clear comes off with a little bit of color off the bottom of our easel as well. There we go. We're always painting, so my easel is always wet with some sort of color. And that's why it's this beautiful color whenever it's dry. Okay. Now, so what we're going to do, I just added some new bread and some new crimson, a couple new little bits of brown. So let's go into our crimson, a little bit of our red. Not too much of the red, though. It really wants to show. A lot of crimson in here. Come back in here like this and just sort of kind of laying it in the middle and then we're going to spread it out to the edges. See what that looks like. Just like that. This nice gorgeous bit. Red has got spreading out with more pressure. Kind of push that pressure. Get that pressure to go out. Leading it out to the sides. Now we got that red, got that crimson, and the less and less you push, the darker and darker it's going to be, right? So we take it, spread it. Pushing it, brushing it. Don't worry how rough you can be with this canvas. It really likes it rough. Especially these, these uh, Pro Series 3 canvases. They're very tightly stretched. And you can put a lot of pressure on them without really denting them in. Some of the, the thinner canvases, you can sort of kind of deform them with how much you can push on them. You know what I mean? And with these bigger, thicker ones, you can hit them as hard as possible and they don't seem to budge. So. That's why they're a little bit more expensive. And uh, they come with a little bit higher price tag from the store and in my store. I have to adjust the price up for these bigger guys. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, a little bit more to ship. All sorts, there we go. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna take a little of our brown, just a little bit. Nothing too crazy, a little bit of the brown on the brush. We're gonna start pulling it in from the edges. We have like this crimson brown, dusky feel to this one. A little bit dusky brown, there we go. A little bit in there, a little bit over here. All depends, where we're we gonna smush it on, where are you gonna blend it out to. All I know is my arm is getting tired. This is like a workout. All this paint stretched so thinly across this canvas, it's seriously a workout. And my hand gets tired after a while. There we go. Sometimes we have to switch arms. We had to do that in the last video. I had to switch arms. I'm gonna have to do it right now. Oh my heck. There we go. Ooh, gotta let the other one just hang. Do it with this side. 
There we go. Bing, bang, boom. All over the place, getting it all mixed up, all nastily, right? And I wanna take some of that Indian yellow, that brighter Indian yellow, mix that with a little bit of our crimson and our red. Just a little bit. A little bit of crimson and a little bit of brown. Might as well throw them all on here, right? There we go. Just a little areas of brightness, a couple areas that aren't so bright. And then we're gonna use a different brush or wash this brush off. Because we have the first, we have too much of our first P in there, right? Way too much of the first P. And that is gonna cause it, that's gonna cause it to spread across the canvas too far. We don't wanna have it go too far. We wanna have a little bit in there like that. And we're gonna take our brush, make sure it's nice and dry because you don't wanna have a wet brush when you go back onto this thing, let me tell you. All right, nice dry brush, come back up here. Just start spreading out a little bit. We want it to be a little bit brighter than the rest, so don't overdo it. Now we're gonna ensure we have canvas, uh, paint all over our canvas. Every which where it can possibly be. Oh yeah. Okay, now my arms are all tired. Let's start the live stream. I think everybody's over there wondering where the heck we are. Just like that, that's very cool. Okay, we're taking our 12 by 24 inch canvas. First, the canvas is for sale. Go over to paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Okay, we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna show you guys, you can't mess up a Paint With Josh painting like this, right? We're gonna take a little bit of our yellow, a little bit of our Indian yellow and brown and uh, uh, red and stuff, come back over here to our white, just like this. Very cool, nice bright color. And I'm telling you, you can't mess it up. We can even close our eyes, all right? So I'm gonna put it over my shoulder like this. I'm gonna close my eyes just so you can see. I can't even do anything, I don't know what's happening. Can you see it? Oh, get this very cool little bit of brightness back here, right? Just with the amount of paint that we put on the brush. And what's very neat about that is based off of the pressure that we put, right? That's our second P, number uh, P1, paint. P2, pressure, right? They're not really clouds. It's just a bit of light source back in here. Oh yeah, the more that we spread it, the longer it's gonna go with our pressure. Right? It's gonna get further and further out, spread out from its original spot back up in here. That bright area, yeah, it's very cool, very cool. The more you mix it, the darker and darker it's gonna become because it's mixing with all those colors out there on the canvas, all right? We don't want it to be so super bright everywhere, but just from that little spot right over here on the side. And then we can even take and add a little bit more paint from the brush in there, right? Just to brighten it up. A little bit of area back in here. Come back in with our brush. Brighten that bit up just until you like it, right? And then you can go and look at it after you go brush it all out and say, okay, that's a little bit brighter. I think I like the way that little bit of brightness looks. Or you say, I don't like it. I need a little bit more paint. Or this or that. This, that, or the other thing, right? So let's take a little bit more. Let's get it out. Get it out with a little brighter right out there in the center. Right? Again, based off of our pressure, we decide what it looks like with our crisscross strokes, just like this. Right? Pushing it out, get it nice and light colored out here. Just like that, spreading it, letting it mix in with all of those little colors and have it nice and bright and also remain nice and dark on the edges out here, right? So the more and more and more you go, the less pressure you use, get all that brightness out there. So gorgeous, so gorgeous, right? But the top of our canvas stays quite dark, not completely dark. You get a little bit of that brightness up there, right? But you want all these little deep, dark areas in our in our scene. Very cool, soft little like, gradient light. Just like that, awesome. Okay, now we're gonna put in just a little pathway far off in the distance back there. And the way that I would do that is just like this. I'd come in here, I'd scoop up a little bit of our white paint because we have all this darkness we could play with, right? A little bit of our white, a little bit of our yellow even. Look at that reddish, yellowish, orangish mixture. Just take that over here, a little bit. Bring it back to your white though, that way it stays a little bit brighter, right? Come back here. Maybe we decide, I don't know, off in the distance there was a little path, just way off there. Let me just get longer as we go. I mean, it came up that way. Maybe turned, came down this side. Who knows? Who knows where the path went? You continue to grow towards us, you can do all sorts of stuff. It's just a little bit of white paint. Mix with that yellow, mix with our orange color. Right? And the longer and longer and longer we swipe it out to the side, 
making equal lengths, right? You don't wanna just swipe it long over there and then come over here for it to stop. You gotta have it slide out to the side. Just like we do a little river or water, come back in here. If you leave a little dark area like that, you can almost make it a little step when I get to it and I'll show you. I'll show you. All right, we'll come back in here. Let's just say our pathway. And they'll line up like this, little swoops, right? That makes it a little kind of, yeah, kind of, I don't know, <laughs> like a little vert ramp, right? We'll come back in here, little things. Let our color go out this way. It's gonna be very soft little painting. Not a whole lot of detail. Clean it up like that, softer and softer and softer as we come down, right? And I'll show you what it's gonna look like as we take our brush and just soften it. A little bit of pressure, not trying to swipe the whole thing out, not trying to deposit too much color anywhere else, right? It's a soft, spooky little, little forest scene way back there, way off in the distance. Say we had a little drop down, right? So our land doesn't wanna meet right here. You wanna leave that darkness in between. If we have a little step there and it can't come down and meet, We'll have a little step, we'll come down here, and then we can start to decide what do we want our little pathway to look like as it gets further and further and further towards us as we come up this way, right? And if you don't want your little step, right, say I don't, like, mm, I don't really like the little step. Just cover it in, smallest little bit, maybe little bright areas every so often, and that way it's, it's gonna look like it's not perfect, you know what I mean? It's not so smooth. If you've got a little, couple little light areas, couple little dark areas, then it's a little bit rough as we're walking up towards it. Very cool, very cool. Now, along the sides, I'm not gonna add any extra color, just gonna kinda grab a little bit from around the edge, just like that, make a little bit of fog. Remember, you guys tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? Because I love to know for whatever reason. I've actually been asking, what's your favorite candy? Because I have been just just stuck, absolutely stuck on uh, on peanut M&Ms. And I cannot break this, this little habit of them. And a little bit of grassy stuff way back here. Just little teeny tiny things. They're not even supposed to be any bit of detail. Right? I'm going to swipe them over so all they have to do is show a couple little bits of stuff. Right? You can even use a different brush. Let's get a one inch brush. Come back here, tap it into the same color, a little bit of our red, a little bit of over, our crimson over here. And then we'll decide, and we got this little bit of like, far off little pinky grass back here, okay? Soft little things. So you don't want to really be able to tell what's what, right? We want it to be very soft. There's no, there's no other word for it besides, besides soft and impressionistic, right? I want it to be like, is that a tree? Is it some grass? Is it some of this? Is it some of that? Very softly, we're gonna start rising a little bit, come down, stay underneath it, those same little things. You get this little hill that starts to build out there. Don't wanna cover up our pathway all the way. All right, so down here, our little bits of grass came in again. Pop it around the side, haven't added any new paint, we'll probably need to now. Come into that little white section, go back into the red, or the crimson and red mix. Come back over here, just brightening it up every so often, grab a little bit of that light color back, grab a little bit of the dark color, and that way you just have all these little differences on the brush. Okay, right, come in here, it starts to change, it's got change in color, it's getting a little bit brighter as we come in here, so why don't we let that go up and it'll start to make more sense as we come in, staying along the edge, a couple little things, little dabs, leaving a couple little dark areas as well, you don't have to have it all be perfectly the same color, you want to leave those little dark areas because that's our depth, that's our distance back in there, right? That's where the distance lives. Need to make that area brighter still. It keeps wanting to uh, keeps wanting to be that little shadowy step for us. Maybe you guys are yelling at me in the comments, like, put the stairs in, what are you doing? Put a little step in there. This one's just going so well, I haven't even looked at the comments. What are you guys even saying? Where are you guys from? Let me know. And look, it's just, it's just, it's just screaming. It's just screaming for a little stair right there. So let's put like a little log step, right? Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of darkness right underneath here because it's just it's just yelling at me. It wants a bit of dark under there. Let's get a little bit of our black, a little bit of our reddish brownish mix. And look at that, we make this nice little deep dark color, maybe a smidge more of the black, not a lot. A little bit, mix it up. The black's very powerful, right? All we're trying to do is just dull it down just a little bit from being that pure brown color to something a little darker and shadowier. Right, maybe back in here, we have this little dark section. Just by adding a little bit of paint to it, 
And then we're gonna swipe it very softly because this amount of thick paint is gonna wanna grow really far, all right? Real far. Slide it back. We're gonna come back and add our little bits of grass back over the top of it. That's how we're sliding out into the grassy area. Don't worry, we're gonna come back in. But you gotta have that little line and then the shadow underneath it. And the more and more we mix it and try to bring it up to that little bit of darkness right there, look at that, it's like a little, little step. A little step. And then as we come down, we grab some more of that white and pinkish paint that we have our little thing made out of here. And you go, okay, I'm gonna pick back up with that little bit of white, just like we do like ocean water and stuff, right? Just sliding it. Getting lighter and lighter. Get these cool little things. You decide where the light comes in. Right? Where is it gonna match up with itself? Where is our bit of walkway come through? You know what I mean? You have that little bit of power right here with the amount of shadow that we can control that little bit of step right there all right we're going to come in with our little bit of flowery color into that bit of pink over here come back seal that guy back in just like that very cool pop in a couple little things over the front of him you can even put some guys back here a couple little bits as they grow down over the side right you don't have to show everything you get this really cool little bit of step out there and you can add just a little texture to it if we get our white and brown of our crimson mix there we go it's not too crazy scrape that guy up come in here right over the top leaving little bits of difference little differences as it comes out now a little bit of that white color with that pink in it with that little bit of brightness on the edge a little bit of shadow underneath very cool guys very cool you guys think of that cool little thing just a couple little steps and you get like a little shelf where maybe the water's washed it out or whatever happened to it Maybe these guys need to go a little bit further into uh, as our pathway goes out this way. A couple little bits of light. Got to make sure that it looks right to you when you're doing it, right? If it doesn't look okay to your head, you're like, I don't know. It might look like this or it might not look like that. It doesn't look right, whatever we're doing. Then keep working at it until it does, right? That little bit. Now we got our cool little bit of pathway. Who knows what's happening off the sign? You get all this mist and fog in the background. So cool. And I just get, I'm so into it that we're already down here. We're gonna put, we're gonna put like 20 trees in this thing too. So don't worry about that. Remember though, guys, if you wanna buy this painting, go over to paintwithjosh.etsy.com and you can buy this canvas right now before I even finish, before anyone else even has a chance to get to it. You can buy this one. And we're gonna have our color wrap around the edge which I've already prepped on the side with the clear, put the clear and I put the same undercolors on the side so we can literally take it like this, pull it off the edge and you get your little pathway to wrap around just like that. Very cool. Even these guys back here, take it, pop a couple little bits. You got your grass on the side. So neat, so neat the way this stuff blends in together. Gets all over my easel. But I like it, it's so cool. And then you can hang it, and it's gonna look different on every side. Gotta have a little color in our sky back here. Just a touch. Look at how you can just match this up because it's already got the under colors on it, right? It's already in there. Very cool. Very cool. Do stuff without even looking. Okay, now let's put in a little bit of our, uh, man, this is so nice right here. So nice right here. Let's put in some trees and stuff off in the distance, right? Okay, we need to wash off our white brush. Now to wash it off. Remember, you can get this one, I think it's like 240, something like that. Same size as the one we just sold about an hour ago, just a different orientation, right? The other one was a 16 by, uh, by 20, which is 36 cubic inches. And this is a 12 by 24, which is also 36 cubic inches. So. We get all those different things. Now we need to come in here and brighten up this color. And, and we know that it's gonna mix with this color as soon as we touch, so it can't be too bright. So we're gonna come in here, grab a little bit of our white, grab a little bit of this brown color. Again, we don't want it to be too white, so maybe get a little bit more, mix it up, and we'll just test, like we'll do a beta test an area, right? Maybe way back here, let's just see what this little... Okay, no, that's cool, I like that. It's very far away colored, right, very faded. So let's take our little tree and we'll go back here like this. And the further and further we go down, the more and more and more you push, right? And then eventually it's gonna end up in the grass back there. And then we can go back and fix our little path and add little shadows and do little different things. 
but you got your little thing, your little tree branch back there. And we've got enough paint, maybe we can do another one right over here. Right, all depends on where you pull it down, where it's gonna end up, go back to our brown, and that white mix back over here. Maybe this guy's a little taller, a little closer. As it comes down, it gets fatter and fatter and fatter. All right, and then we can go back and hide little different things and little stuff. But before we do that, let's grab our liner brush. And we're gonna grab a bit of paint of uh, odorless mineral spirits onto our liner brush. And get it into our pile over here of our brown color that we've been mixing with, right? So it's very runny and very wet. And we're gonna get it up there just like ink and come back in here. Trying a few little details here and there and everywhere. As they come off of our trees way back there, right? The more you put way off in the back, the more you're gonna have to put in the front, right? So do less, do less. A line from one of my favorite movies, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, when he's talking about, uh, um, what was that? He, they, they were like surfing. And he's like, do less, do less. Like you're doing too much, do less. So we gotta put less little branches back here. This is a bare tree kind of scene where there's not a whole lot of uh, foliage. In this case, none. Very bare little autumn scene, very cool. Okay, we don't wanna do too much back there because we're gonna keep coming forward. So let's take our little brush that's got the grass color on it. Come back in, pop along the bottom. Just dabbing at it until it goes away. You decide where it sits based on that, right? And then, we can come back with a little fan brush and a little bit of that lighter color and just come in here and highlight our little bit of our walkway every so often. Right, leading up to there. Very cool. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be super bright. Doesn't have to be super straight. Doesn't have to be anything. Just has to come down here and then turn, all right? Come up to our little thing and that's it. Very cool little bit of white back there. Now, the closer that we come to us, the darker we have to come with our trees, right? So, this guy back here, watch. If we, if I put his, his base right down here at the front of this thing, that's gonna bring him very far forward, right? But if I keep him back at the same level that these guys are, even bringing him back even further by putting him way back there on the horizon, just pushes it the tree back a little bit more, right? A couple little dabs, a little here, a little there. There we go, There's a couple little details of my grass, oh yeah. Oh yeah, just like that. Far off little thingies. Bing, bang, boom, right around the edge. Very cool, guys. I love these See, I might have to take this one out of the store. I might just have to take it out of the store. If it doesn't get purchased in, you know, during the stream, we might just have to take it out because it's so stinking pretty. Let's come in here with a little bit of our white. Just like that, I want to come down. Oh yeah, just like that. A little bit of foggy mist. Just with our pressure, right? Our second P, our P2 is that amount of pressure that we push. And on here, my goodness, we can stretch that white all the way across. Maybe we take out the bottom of our, our little thing. It's very misty, it's very foggy, right? Where's all this fog coming from? Get all that bit of brightness back there. We could do the same thing back here. You could do anything you want. Littlest bit of paint though. It's gonna be very bright. And then we go back across the top of our path. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Little bit, little bit of just mystery back there. What's happening? What's going on in the mist, in between the trees, right? You can always go back over, if you mess up your trees, you can go back over and make them a little bit darker as they go down, but I don't really wanna see where they come out of, you know what I mean? Everything is very soft in this painting. There's not a lot of texture. The last painting we did, super texture, right? Tons and tons and tons of texture. This painting, very soft. Not even in the grass we have any texture. It's just color and little bits of light and dark. That's it, just little patches of stuff. Very neat. Gorgeous. A bit darker back in here. So I'm just adding the crimson paint and the reddish paint, a little bit of crimsony color, very lightly swiping over just so we have a few little differences. A few little here's, a few little there's, maybe a bit of yellow. Let's, oh yeah, a little bit of yellow back in here. That orangey look. Just a couple dabs, so you don't need a whole lot. All right, a couple dabs will do you. That's it. Bam, 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 bam. Very cool, very cool, very different, very cool. Now, maybe a little bit of our crimsony color in here, just to have our grass come down. There we go. Cover over that little bit. Now we're gonna lighten it up with our yellow and our orange again, just to try to match it. But it's got that crimsony kind of 
undertone to it, that little shadowy area. Very cool. Again, very soft little swipes. Bam, bing, bang, boom. Just like that. You can pull them in from this guy. Once we had just a couple, right? Just a few little things are trying to grow their way in. And they're trying to swipe in, right? Just a little bit of color off the edge. A little bit of bits as we go off the side. A couple little things. I know, I'm sorry I'm in your guys' way. It's, I try not to be as much as possible. There we go. A couple little things. Oh, we could start putting like little flowers and stuff. Like they fell off of these trees and they landed on the thing. Like, look at that yellow. Let's at least put the, let's give it the, uh, the uh, what do they call it? The, like impression that there are leaves and stuff in here. Just by adding a little bit of color, a little bit of yellow, right? Not grass, not even like that little tiny bit of pressure. And we're just gonna swipe over a few little bits and it'll be just like that, a little bit of color. All right, have a little bit of yellow back in there. Don't wanna do the whole thing in yellow, of course. A little bit of bright areas, a little bit of dark areas as they come towards us. A little bit of red to our crimson back in here. So we can get it to darken up the smallest bit. Oh, there we go. Not too much. There we go. There we go, you guys. Pull this side up here. And then we decide what it looks like, what happens. I like that our path goes all the way out to the edge now. Very cool. It's like we could walk literally right into this thing. So. Now we're gonna come in, we're gonna make our trees a little bit darker. So let's go into our black and our crimson. More crimson than anything else, right? Triple, quadruple load the crimson, a little bit of blue, and then come into our brown just a little bit. Bing, bang, boom, trying to get it loaded up there. There we go. I don't wanna get into this very liquidy uh, brown section because that's gonna just cause a lot of heartache. We want it to be nice and thick and firm. All right, now we're gonna come in here, I'm gonna split the trees. You have to forget about what's back there. Don't worry about what's back there. Split them in half. Let's come from a little bit taller. They're gonna be a little bit thicker. We're gonna push down a little bit more. We're running out of paint. I'm gonna stop that guy right there. Very cool. Right there. Boom, all depends on the pressure that we push. And this little skinny guy right there. Very cool, a little bit darker, all right? darker pulls him forward because he's taller darker and sits lower than those other trees back there kind of cuts off our little pathway very neat come back to that dark color that we were making with our crimson black and blue especially more crimson than anything else we had it mixed up down here and maybe there's a little guy right there and even though oh right there just cut that whole other tree out even though he's shorter right? Then these guys are back there. It's darker and he sits down further, making us think anyway that he's sitting closer, right? Just like that. Kind of lost our little tree back there. It's okay. It's okay. He's a little bit different color, so he's going to stand out as being further away. And come back over here. What if we had a guy, maybe we're going to start all the way up on the canvas, pushing a little bit more, and then we're really going to come down. Here we go. All right? Depending on the thickness of your trees, we're going to come down into this guy now. And he's gone up a little bit higher off the top of the canvas. A little bit darker with our crimson, black, and blue. A bit of the brown. All right? We want to make him a nice straight shape anyway. Same bit of trunk all the way down. There we go. Just like that. Sliding it down. Thick as you want to make it. The thicker it is, the closer it's going to seem. So if this is your foreground, you want it to be right up here in the front, then make it as thick as you want, but don't go any thicker than that on any other tree. The one in the front has to be the thickest one that you make, right? Very cool. Now let's come back into that crimsony reddish bit with our little bit of white for our little grass that we had. A little bit of our yellow even, a couple little dabs. There we go, come into here. Just tapping around the base until it blends away all those little colors and all those little swipes and all the little things that we did by pulling our brush down. And then you can make our little pathway a little bit brighter, just like that. A couple little things, guys. You do it a littlest bit of detail off in the back there. If you can, if the buyer ends up being able to see that, then good on them. Here we go. Tap this guy in. All right, swipe this little. You can even do a little shadow depending on where your light source is. If you did that, tap across it very lightly. You get that little bit of shadow. And the darker you want it, you know what I mean. Totally up to you, but very cool. All right, guys, tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwich? What did, what's the last piece of candy you just ate? And if you can guess what the last piece of candy I just ate was, I'll give you a follow.
All right, let me know in the comments. We're gonna take a little, just a breather here. There we go, getting a little of our darker paint, mixing it in over here. All right, a little of the crimson, a little of the black, making it our darker purple paint, just like these trees. And we're gonna mix it all up. And remember what I was having earlier, remember my candy, if you figured it out, if you figured out the clue, I'm gonna ask you for it in a little bit, we're gonna see. All right, we're gonna come in here. These guys have darker branches. They're gonna start crisscrossing everywhere. You can even extend your trunk of your tree and make it very sharp just by dragging it up like that. And because you have those little differences in color back there, it's really gonna stand out. Whatever you wanna do with these little tree branches, totally up to you. Just make sure you have enough liquid thinner, your, your brush cleaner on the branches. Otherwise, it's not gonna drag easily across all these other bits of paint back there, right? Let's come over here. Maybe this guy's got an old weird looking branch coming out like that. Just however you want it, right? Maybe that little bend right there, he's got one that comes down this way. Totally, whatever you wanna do is what you do. Come up here, twist, rotate, flick out, and get these cool little things, load it back up over the tip top of that guy. Just any which where you wanna throw them out, that's where you put them. We're starting to run out of thinner, right? It's getting a lot more thick on my, on my palette over here, which makes it more difficult for it to come off the brush as it's rolling over all these other bits of paint back there, right? So we're gonna have to either finish it up quick or go back and get some more thinner out of the old cup. And right down here where it's the thickest, you know, the bottom branch is gonna be the thickest one Maybe this branch even wraps around. It comes around the side of the canvas, guys. That's cool. I love these big canvases. I gotta get in front of you though, cause it's gotta be dark over here. There we are. Couple little bits, just like that, fantastic. Excellent. Whoop, very cool. So whoever's getting this one's gonna see that awesome little extra branch that wraps around the side of the painting. Very neat. Now, you don't wanna to add too many again, because we're gonna be coming forward. We've got this whole guy over here, but we need to go back and get more thinner out of the box, or out of the cup. So get like five, six, seven dabs out of the cup. Dip your brush in, bring it above your palette, right? And then dip it into the paint a little bit just to help it get a little darker uh, and a little bit more wet. All right, we're gonna come in there, and this guy, just like that, and get it all up into the brush, and let's decide, maybe this guy's got one that comes out this way. He's coming down. They don't all have to face up, right? He's got one out there, little side over here, little branches, all depends on what you wanna do, how much paint you have on your brush, how much thinner you have on your brush is a big deal for these tree limbs out here because they're not gonna flow easily off the brush if you don't have enough thinner and color attached to it, right? So let me pop off that side. Couple more details over on these guys. Come out here. Wicked little trees. And you can just go wherever you want to go with these little branches too. Anything you want to do. There's no rule book for these branches. This is my favorite branch right here too. You just pull it out to the side like that. And it just sticks out. And when you're walking by, you get stuck in the arm by that little guy. They're my favorite little branches. I love painting them. Let's come out here. We're gonna throw a big guy out in front of all these other little trees. And then you're gonna to start to wonder where did the little branches start to connect, right? If you start putting too many out there, it's gonna to be too hard to figure it out for your viewer, your end viewer, your buyer, your person who's looking at it in your art groups. It's gonna to be too hard to figure out. So don't add too many things. And just because those other trees are a little bit different color, look at how much it pushes them back. It's so fantastic. Just so fantastic. There we go, a little bit of darkness down on our tree over here. And since we got the littlest bit of thinner left up here, let's do one more little branch comes out. All right, little things, little bits, reaching out there. You never know which way they're coming out of the tree either. And you come out that side, a couple little pieces coming up, reaching out. Very cool, very cool little thing. So you can see the tip of this tree, but you can't see the top of that tree. Brings it closer, brings it closer. And we can even put one more big one down here, but I really like how this one sits right now. It's so pretty. Like it's literally, I wouldn't want to add anything else, guys. There we go, Make it, mixing up our little bit of fog, just a little more mist. So cool, so cool. All 
whatever this is over here, I love these little bits that are like extra bright that are coming from the side. It's almost like uh, stuff's trying to grow over here. Very cool. Like a little bit of grass is growing off. We just make it a little thinner. A couple little bits, little streaks of color, a little bit of yellow, right? Like I said, maybe we could have a couple little bits, right? Those look like leaves. I don't, I don't really think they look like leaves. No, not really. These are oils. So, and the best part about doing these oils is, check this out, blend this guy away like it was never even there to begin with. So, so much fun, right? Take these guys, whatever you wanna do to make it your own, that's what you gotta do, right? Now, for this guy, remember, you're gonna have to name this painting like any second now. Just any second. Maybe we can get one more little branch off the top over here. Very cool. Very cool. So, start coming up with a name for this painting. What do you want to name it? And if it gets purchased, maybe the buyer will choose your name that you suggested, and you get a shout out for that. So, it's very cool. It's a lot of fun. Give it a try. Give us a name. What would you think this painting would be called if you were the one who had painted it? What would you want to call it? Come out over here, wrap it around the side. Very cool, very cool. Man, I like this painting, you guys, that's so neat. Don't even have to do anything else, guys, really. Really, that's literally it. Nice little quick one. Well, this one turned out fantastic, guys. I can't wait to see your version. Make sure you send it into facebook.com slash paintwithjosh and instagram.com slash paintwithjoshk. And I'll be waiting, we'll see you then. Ba-boom! Plus I've got. 400 YouTube videos. I've got tons and tons and tons of content. All sorts of stuff everywhere. Man, it's cool. Gosh, I love this one. Cool. Neat, neat, neat. Well, if it doesn't sell, that's perfectly okay. I'll take it over to Facebook and uh, market it to all the Facebook followers over there. I love being able to buy stuff over through Facebook because you TikTok guys take it all the time. You just take it before they can even get to it. Add a little bit more darkness in our little path in here. It's almost like it's too, too bright. So small amount of paint, a lot of pressure, blending those little darknesses away. And blend and blend and blend that same angle that we're doing, right? Blending it, blending it until we think it looks okay. Just a couple little bits, little bits of darkness, little bits of light, right? What do we want it to look like? Spread it down, blend it down. Blend it together. Following our little angles, right? There we go, a little bit darker to it. A little bit darker, a little bit lighter. Just want a couple little areas of that lightness right over the dark. Give it a little bit of depth in there. Maybe, maybe that would be cool for another uh, Another video that would be really neat. This is one of my favorite little ledges right here. That little bit of darkness is so neat. So cool. It's got all that paint in it too. There we go. Very neat little ledge, I love that. Very, very neat. Remember, we wanted it nice and smoky and we almost forgot to put a little bit of fog in here. All right, let's take our little bit, just like we had our little cloud come down through there. Let me take a little bit. We'll just see what it looks like as we roll, push a little harder, drop a little bit more, come a little bit down, push a little bit harder, push a little bit less, and you start leaving all these little bits of lighter and darker, lighter and darker. It starts to look a little bit like some mist rolling in, maybe if we could keep it bright enough and not overdo it, right? A couple little bright areas just to kind of make our brains realize that it's really just right up here. And if you didn't like the mist, you go back in and you cover it all with, you know, those same little things in our same little angles, just like that. That's very cool, guys. Very cool. I really like the softness of it. Like you almost can't even tell. Is it a bit of mist? Is it a bit of path? What's happening as a little bit of mystery? I think that's why they call it mist. It's mysterious. <laughs> A bit of mystery. There we go. Finish the edges for the buyer. A little bit of color. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. 
And why don't we add a little bit of crimsony bit, that crimsony purpley color to it. Right, we'll come down in here. Oh yeah, there we go, guys. Just gonna decide with a little couple little bits of crimson, just how much it changes. Look at that cool little bit. We slid some of our little, our little uh, cloud back. Ooh, that's too much crimson right there. That's too much on the brush, Josh. So watch, we're gonna try to scoop some of it off and then dab it off on the brush. And watch, we mix with our pressure. Look at that purpley color, just mix in. Fantastic, look at how hard I'm pushing the brush too. This is fantastic. That bit of darkness in there. A couple little areas, right? Little things where you have that dark and then a little bit of light, maybe a little bit of cloud rolled through right over here. So you have those little changes. Right? And then it's got its flat little bottom. So it goes from that dark to the same dark with a little bit of mist across the top. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see like that, guys. <sighs> wicked, wicked, wicked. Send in the witch, because this one's wicked right here. A little bit more of our white paint. Oh yeah. A couple little things, almost like there's a little, a little hole in there you start to create if you leave darkness and light in your clouds. You can start to create the coolest little things a little bit of mist rock, uh, rolling across our path right here. And the guys on YouTube are going to be mad at me because I turned off the camera and now I've continued to work <laughs> and add all these differences and colors and different stuff. Watch, I'm going to take our signature and I'll put it right back where it went. Just by adding a little bit more darkness underneath that fog. That's cool. That's cool. A little bit of our brown. Oh yeah, everybody over on YouTube is going to be mad. <laughs> You'd be like, what happened? The painting doesn't look like this. It looks like, you know, how you have it right now. And I'm like, well, we, we continued on on TikTok and we kept messing around afterwards until, uh, until we liked how it looked, you know what I mean? A little bit more up here. Oh, yes. Yes. I want to cover the base of that tree just a little bit. Oh, there it is, kind of fogging it up. Leaving that little bit of crimson, though, to kind of help our brains feed it in there. Right, just like that, we can even go back, take our little bit of crimson, and really change where the base of the clouds are just by adding that crimsony color. You know what I mean? And then a little bit of our black, a little bit of crimson. It's going to get darker and darker and darker and darker as it gets towards us. Lighter and lighter and lighter up there, mixing in with all those colors. Very cool. Very cool. We have to change the uh, change the color of the. The color that we signed with, but that's okay. That's all right. Mix this guy up, bring it down. We can't really tell what's what, what's where. That's very cool. Just like that, you guys rock and roll. All based off what my brain sees when I look at it, right? I go, okay, it would be very dark back here. We're not going to see much. We're going to come up here. Okay, we got our little ledge. We're going up. We're doing that. Very cool, if you ask me. Very cool. A couple little bits of our yellow and white, just so we can go back and soften them a little bit. Right? Maybe like little striations and stuff, so it looks like there's little steps and little differences back in there. Little bits of shadowy things. And then we'll have more and more and more and more and more little details, just like that. Just like that. So we had a real deep, dark little shadow down here. This is going to be cool, right? Take this guy, real deep and dark right there. Now I'm going to take my brush. We're going to slide it out to the side underneath. So we got that deep darkness, just like we had back up here, right? This little shelf. That's going to be cool. Take our little bit of brown, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white, mix them all up like we had it before. Come out here. Just like a little water line on the edge of this little bit of rock. That's how I love doing these little um, stone steps. When we do little stone steps, they turn out so cool. And it's just like this, right? Just add a little bit more of that color, a little bit more. A little of our crimson, mixing it all in. Somehow picked up a brush. There's somehow a, a, a bristle on here without me even using a brush. There's a bristle. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. There we go. Just like that. We get this cool little bit of step coming out to say hello, say hello, a little bit of that same color, and if you leave that darkness underneath it, 
right? Then we're going to have a cool piece down here that you can then pick up and then highlight down here once you leave that little bit of shadow back in there, right? Come on, a little thing. Very cool. You decide what it looks like. Maybe it's a little higher over there, a little higher over here, just to have it look a little bit more rounded, right? Like it's coming out in front. Cool little bit. Oh, that's freaking that is money. Right there, so soft. It's all different. It's got that shadow. We got the fog. We don't know. Maybe there's a few more steps to get up there. Maybe it's very soft. Who knows? You got to take that first step, though, to get into the painting. That first step, that's where we got to be. Man, that's cool. We'll leave it just like that, too. We'll leave it, Josh. It is done. Done, done, done. Very cool. Okay, let's go back in, put the old signature way back in there again. Now, we can still do it in that darker color, try to keep it kind of hidden. Put it over here this time. It was over there, let's put it over here this time. So when, it, when the people really watch on YouTube, they're going to go, that son of a gun, Josh, what did he do when I wasn't looking, when he turned the camera off, and he kept going for those guys on TikTok, and they got to see what he did, and I didn't get to see. I almost forgot, we almost didn't put our birds in there. Okay. All right, guys. It's 1230. I'm going to get the heck out of here. What do you guys think of that little step, though? Seriously. That little extra step just makes it for me.